I had a routine that I used to stick to, but I didn't have any crazy ones. Like, for example, Pepe Reina used to go to the same petrol station before the game, and I used to Did scratch it? my head at that one and think, well, how's that affecting whether you're going to let one in or save, make a world-class save? You never allowed yourself, or you weren't the type of person that thought, I've got no, to... No, I was just one who was the same routine all the time, similar food, similar rest, similar... Build That's kind of a superstition though, isn't it? You Maybe. wanted specific things. That... Yeah, but it was more, I'd seen it as a routine. I didn't call it really a superstition. Like Paul Ince, for example, putting a shirt on last to go out before the game. I didn't have none like that. What about Luis Garcia? I heard a story about him in the European Cup final. Yeah, he was giving a shout out in the dressing room. You know, no one touched the cup on the way out. It's bad luck. And he, you could see him like sort of on the way out, making sure no one touched it. And looking, well, after the game, when I watched it back, obviously I was at the front, but... Yeah, he was paranoid that someone was hurting the players away from the trophy. What, were you a sort of player that had these little things you had to do? Little, yeah, I was probably like routine, but a bit more. Like I would stick when I, if I felt I was playing well or scoring, and we were winning, I would stick to certain things and like what sort of stuff? Uh, I'd like go for a walk pre-match near where I live, and I would sort of do a certain route and laps. Uh, I'd use the same urinal in the dressing room out of the three. And what were you like when things interrupted? Like, I don't know, you had a great pair of boots and something went wrong with them or, you know, you had a, a, something that got in the way of yeah. your specific... Well, I was quite funny about boots. If I was scoring, I'd keep boots so they're quite old. But then, so if I was somewhere in the middle and not just playing OK, I would have a massive discussion about new boots or same old yeah. boots, sort of stare at them for it. And then I realised I was just causing myself <laughs> <laughs> an absolute nuisance I didn't need to. Additional pro Which yeah. urinal was it? Uh, left. Always left. There were three and I was left. So I played left side of three in midfield. So I, <laughs> I used to queue up for that left one when they were all three. Well, the other two were three, yeah. It worked for you. Three? No. Yeah, I was quite superstitious. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd always, uh, like Frank, do a certain walk around the hotel. Um, I'd always splash my face with water in the tunnel. I would jump before I went on the pitch. I remember I'd run that. out a certain way on the pitch. Weird. And, I, and if I didn't do it, it'd be in my head. Well, so um, once the game has started, let's say you're... Yeah, once the game United, started, you're I was thinking, fine. hold on a minute. Yeah, once the game started, I was fine. Unless I started having a nightmare, I said, like, "I'll be playing." I, I knew it was that's the reason. But but beforehand, if I'd missed something on the way to going, leading up to a game, I, it would play on my mind. But again, when the whistle went, I was kind of, I was all right. But it's just extra stress that you put yourself under. Yeah. I remember we used to be in the, the England change room, and I remember playing, rolling. The, we used to play two touch, messing about with the ball, and the ball got rolled to Joe Cole, and he was jumping around, wasn't he? Like yeah. he, he didn't want to touch the ball. He refused to touch the ball in the changing in the changing room. Before a game, it was bad luck. He'd sit there with his legs up. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you couldn't yeah. get it off from once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be sitting at his peg and he'd have his legs up so the ball didn't touch him. Yeah. yeah. Before the game started. He'd be booting it at him. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we used to do, just to wind him up. But he'd sit there rolling at him like that, watching him just have a, <laughs> like, be in turmoil. Like, yeah. oh. it, would, it used to do him completely. If it touched the ball and he wasn't looking at it, like, that was him. His yeah. head Done. was gone. Yeah. Uh, what about, wasn't there a story about John Terry and, and you? Helped you out with some shin pads or something? We used to wear these, he had these miniature shin pads, they're about that big. I don't know how they're even legal. They used to cover the tiny bit of his shin and they, he lost them once and I gave him mine, which was slightly bigger, and he cut them down to a little slither and then he got on with those ones. But he'd had them for like 10 years. I had a pair of pads for about 10 years. They absolutely stunk. <laughs> 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 just stuck with them. But things that make you comfortable in your head, they do help. It's, it's just a bit complicated when you go those extra steps and it becomes a bit of madness. But the thing is, when you're a professional footballer, it's an insane job. You know, you're coming out here today in front of 40,000, 50,000 people and you're looking for things just almost like comfort blankets, things just to make you feel a little bit more comfortable, I think. Yeah, it's almost like an OCD, yeah. uh, with your preparation and you know, you're playing to the top, you want a perfect performance, you want, you want to play well, you're desperate for the win and you want, a, obviously, an individual top performance. So you want to make sure your routine's perfect and if you've got a superstition you're obviously so yeah. paranoid to get it all in, into plan into but plan. everyone everyone around you as well becomes like they're used to it even the kit man i used to walk in the change room at a certain time he'd go do you want your coffee i'd always have a coffee at a certain time before a game do you know what i mean or do you want you, you do you want your, your strapping now mm. and i'll be no no you know i want it before i want it earlier i want it they all just know everyone seems to start working you out and sees what you see what you do so it is it is crazy but i think within the dressing room it's kind of but it's the norm because you're it. existing in a world where everyone is kind of a bit similar, aren't they? Mm. I mean, I remember reading David Beckham's book and he's openly admitted he's a bit obsessive and he used to mm. go into his house, didn't he, and turn everything around so in his cupboard, everything faced the front. You know, he didn't want anything looking slightly askew. 